send more trolls. Send all the trolls we have. We'll make sure they regret that haircut. <laughs> Social media use has skyrocketed in lockdown and so has online abuse. Youth cyberbullying has soared by more than 30% since March. Have you experienced to be a victim of fake news? Well, I would say yes, bro. Can you share your experiences? Like, how did you know that it was a fake news? Where did you get that fake news? Sometimes we are bombarded with different news and information on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, minsan, may bias tayong pinapakinggan, lalo na kapag mas maganda yung tunog ng kanilang opinion. One time, nakita ko yung friend ko na may share sa Facebook without knowing na fake news pala yun. And then, syempre, tinignan ko unang-una yung headline and of course, tinignan ko din yung thumbnail. And then, nainggan nyo akong i-share siya sa Facebook. Tapos, pinakita ko din siya sa ate ko. And then, alala ko pa nga, no, nagalit siya sa akin kasi kilala niya daw yung mga taong nandoon mismo sa article. And alam niya yung whole story. Napunta kami sa usapan kung paano maging media and information literate. Can you share ano yung sinabi niya sa'yo? First, she expound about fake news and kung paano may spot ito. Uh, kailangan talagang magbasa ng whole article at hindi lang mag-base sa headline and thumbnail kasi nag-lead ito sa misinformation. Kailangan mo din tignan yung source kung meron ba itong worldwide, worldwide reputation. And lastly, the most important one is make a research. Are you applying what you've learned? If yes, in what scenarios? Yes, like reporting in a school. Siyempre, we need information that we can present in front of the whole class. I know na kung saan at paano ako kukuha ng information. I check the site if it's trustworthy enough or not. And then, I think critically and learn knowledge based on factual statements. Do you have your own formula for social media etiquette that you are using? If you have, what are those? Yes, I have. And those are, first, you need to think before you click. Kailangan mo muna mag-isip ng maayos bago ka mag-post sa social media. Kailangan mo muna isipin kung makakasakit ka ng reputasyon or feelings ng iba. Huwag ka magpo-post ng galit kasi sometimes when we are angry, we post it immediately on social media. And sometimes these words can harm others and it can be the cause of cyberbullying and it's wrong. Alawa, we shouldn't click and share everything on social media. Like for example, our private informations. We have to make sure that our private information is for ours only. Also, if someone sends us a link, we shouldn't click it right away. Because it might be a virus or the timely today that if you click the link, may magsasend the link sa iyong mga followers. Can you tell me how media and information literacy and social media etiquette can help you or even other people, especially in these days? Media and information literacy and social media etiquette can help us especially during this time by posting and sharing correct information so that people around the world can know what's happening.
intertwined Your heart of gold so pure, divine And I Lost myself within the fire Breaking free from my desire A heart of gold for you to inspire It's starfire It's starfire 